The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the January 19th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes. Um... Whoa, I, my, my mind, sorry about that. My mind was pretty much, uh, sorry, two thoughts going through my mind, and that was a terrible thing. Anyways, I'm Stevie Perseverance, Perseverance Rhodes, and welcome to the Trader's Ed Show, folks. Uh, let's just kind of get into it. Right now, we've got a mixed bag. Oh, well, well it's before we get into it, I would love to hear from you. So you can give us a call at 877-927-6648 with any requests that you've got. We'll take a look at it. We'll try to identify what the instrument is doing, where support and resistance is. Of course, if you can't call in but you've got a question, you can always email that to me. You can email that to Steve at TFN.com. Inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. That way it makes it easier for me to differentiate your email than all the junk. And believe me, in an hour's time, I can get a lot of junk email out there. It gets all mixed in. So if you do that, that would be great. And, of course, inside the Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You've got the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ all trading to the upside. 141 points for the Dow, 21 points for the S&P, 136 points for the NASDAQ 100. Russell's off about four points. The semis are up 72, and the trainees are off 40. We've got gold trading up nine bucks, with silver down nine pennies. Lights we crude is up 30 cents, and the 30-year uh, the uh, and natural gas is back 14 pennies. 30-year treasury basically flat, printed out at 119.26. Now, our leaders in the clubhouse, uh, to the upside, Super Micro Computer, 92 bucks. That's a 30% move. Nice move there. Mercado Libre, 48 bucks, nearly 3%. Broadcom, 3% or 33. Cayman Corp, 101%, 22 bucks. Lamb Research, 2%. That's a $17 move. Micro Strategy, trading to the downside, off a little over 2%, $10.5. Duolingo, almost 10 bucks or 5%. Molina Healthcare, $9 and change, 2.5%. iRobot, 7 bucks, nearly a 30% move to the downside there. Wowzer. Uh, so we've got movers and we've got shakers. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. Let's first start by taking a look at what's going on around the globe out here. So let's take a look at the worldwide stock indices out here. You got the Dow in the upper left-hand corner. Now, the Dow itself formed its new all-time high back on January 12th, unlike the S&P, which is today, unlike the NASDAQ 100, which is today. Now, if we take a look at some of the other key critical markets out here, you're not seeing my page? No, you got uh, probably a caller. Um, yeah, great. Uh, so if you are uh, and then we've got the other primary indices down below that. So in the upper on the middle on the left, you've got the uh, Shanghai. You can see I've also got some trend lines drawn in here rising and you can see also it's all time. I was back in 2007. Uh, now, the Shanghai does have a buy the D point pattern that had formed out there, so we should rally. But the point that I really want to make was take a look at this. Nikkei, not anywhere near its all-time high. Hang Seng, nowhere near its all-time high. Same thing with regard to the FTSE. The, uh, 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 the Australia 200 out there came really close to taking out its all-time high that actually formed back in August of uh, 2021 out here. And we take a look at the uh, DAX. That was back in uh, 2023, December the 14th. The point is that see, certainly Stevie wants to make out here is the only markets that are breaking out are those in U.S. dollars. But we'll come back to uh, this set of charts and other charts here. But first, we do have a caller on the line. So let's go out to Garo in uh, Newport Beach, California. Garo, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Happy New Year to you. How are you today? Happy New Year to you, sir. I'm very good. Thank you. Sorry for my voice. It's been like this for about three months, and there is no cure for it. I hope it will be fine in the future. Uh, uh, Steve, uh, there are two, two, two charts, if you have the time, uh, to see sure. the second one. Thank you. The first one is Pat, P-A-T-H, Paul Apple, Tom Henry. Yes. Uh, on a daily chart, if you look at it, please, you see that uh, the five-day... Uh, the, the five day uh, five day moving average past the fifty day moving average. 
yes. and crossed it. There is a gap in between uh, all the way down to $20 and change. You think that you go all the way down to that point and fill the gap or the bleeding is, is, is over? So it's a great question. And, and how we can answer it is, is I can provide you with a support level. And that support level is for its weekly time frame. And again, folks, we're taking a look at Unipath Inc. Ticker symbol there is P-A-T-H. Uh, these are Garo sets of tools, the charts that we're looking at on our screen out here. Where the only tool that I've added to this are the profile levels. So it is the bottom of the weekly profile that will answer that question for you. And that's at 2171. Now, ordinarily, I would have thought the answer to your question would have been yes, that price will get down there. And the reason that I would have said that, Garo, is because last week price closed below the bottom of its weekly profile, and it did so the week before that. And so that was giving us a intermediate term profile change in trend signal however we're back above it today so i'm kind of confused actually the message today would be well maybe it's not going to go and uh take care of that gap area that's what uh, this set of charts is looking for but what i can also do well first before i do that and i've got a the daily time frame and the monthly time i'm sorry the daily and the 30 minute time frame up on my screen do you have any questions about that before i would switch over and take a look at path on my white background charts just to give you any additional patterns or anything that I see out there. So any questions so far about that support level that I gave you or anything else? No, sir. All I want to know that if we get to that $20 uh, or not, that, that, that's all. You need, you know, it. The the and so the answer is, if you start trading below the bottom of that profile again, the weekly profile twenty one seventy one, then I would say the answer would be yes. Now I'm going to switch over, yeah. take a look at my white background charts just to see if there's anything else out there before we go to your second request. See if there's anything else out here that would assist us. And what I do see is uh, what looks like an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. So that, uh, in fact, if I take a look at where that could take us to, if you give me a moment here, we'll draw in the. A to B line, and then we'll go ahead and we'll take that over to where the likely C point is out here for this pattern. I just would like to make sure that that was at least there close to a 0.382 retracement. But the one to one level here, Garo, which gets you down to 1910. So that would most certainly go ahead and completely fill that gap out there. Uh, we are trading below a uh, new set of profiles, daily profiles, that actually formed uh, two days ago. And that's a bearish signal out there. But again, I'd still say you got to close below the bottom of that weekly profile, that 2171 area. Um, yeah, that's okay. all that I've got on this set of charts yeah, out here. Very good. Very good. I wrote it down. 2171 is the number. Perfect. The other one is CCCC, uh, four C Cs, like yep. cat, 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 cat. That one. Uh, I'm short on that, uh, on $7 on a daily chart when you yep. hit the first dot at the top. Uh, I see that. And uh, I'm still in short. Uh, uh, how far do you think that will go? 449. Approximately. Yeah. Yes. 449. How's that, how's that for a precise answer for you? <laughs> 449, Garo. And we still are taking a look at my white background charts out here. Uh, so uh, the 449 level is the TD9 count breakout area. Garo, would you be kind enough to hold on through this breakout here? We'll finish taking a look at uh, C4 yes, yeah, Therapeutics. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, Perfect. Perfect. When we come back for this break, we'll go back out to uh, Newport Beach, California with Garo taking a look at... C4 Therapeutics. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, up, folks. We're taking a look at ticker symbol CCCC, C4 Therapeutics. This is with Garo in Newport Beach, California. By the way, Garo, if you hadn't mentioned anything about your voice, I, to me it sounds just uh, just normal. I'm sorry that you are having some problems, obviously. But uh, as far as what it sounds like on my end, you sound just like the normal Garo out there. But with regard to C4, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thank but, you. and I love yeah. to hear the laugh, so it's great. It warms my heart. <laughs> I did take a look at intraday charts during that break just to see if there was any kind of bottoming signal out here, and I don't see anything at this moment in time. The level to watch at day's end, still, though, is going to be 589. And 589 is the bottom of that daily profile. So a close blow today gives us a hint at a change in trend signal. That would suggest lower price. And that 449 area is the breakout level. So we're in bar number five today. This did top with a TD9 count top. Maybe it'll be a TD9 count at the bottom around that 449 level. This is definitely going into a big, gigantic sign of strength out here. You probably know more about this stock. Certainly, I don't know anything about it. But on the trading day of December 13th, it seemed like they must have cured something out there. 225 million shares to the upside. The following day, 162 million shares. To give you an example, folks, yesterday's pulled back with 4 million shares. Today, so far, in two hours of trading, about 2 million shares. So it's really pulling back into that strength area out there. But I don't see any signs of a bottom, and I think it's going to go target 449. The weekly chart shows, Garo, that you've got really strong resistance at 703. And 703 was the uh, second TD9 count breakdown area. So that's your resistance to the upside and support to the downside, I would say, is 449. While you look at these charts or even yours with regard to C4, are there any questions that you have that I can answer for you? No, sir. I find the 449. And I find that uh, the seven, the other, the other one, uh, 741, I, I find both of them where it's going to hit. And I really appreciate that so much. Can I, I ask you a question? You're, Girl, the man, you're the man. Girl, you're the man. Thank you. No, you're, thank you're the man. But let me, if I can ask you a question, please. Um, yes, sir. Uh, so in this case here on C4, and I'm going to go ahead and flip back to the black background charts because I think you've got a great unique trading system. Uh, when you call in, I think people listen. I know people listen, uh, and they try to learn from you. And so in this instance here on the daily time frame chart, you took that a short trade because a price had hit your parabolic SAR. 
I still have yes. the five day moving average above the 21 day. What's that on the daily time frame? So uh, your system is is more so about the five and 21 on the intraday charts versus the daily or just trying to uh, on, on, on yes on a daily chart i refer to that very much you see well even when you told me that how come it popped up you know where, where did i bought it i bought it on the time that the candle hit the, uh, the start parabolic was dollar 71. yes uh, that i was, see that okay. that was done on uh, uh, december the 12th you yes see, i see that. i bought four thousand shares and i kept it and I, I from 171 all the way up to five dollars, and I sold him at five. You see, okay. now um, I, then uh, I started to I waited until the candle uh, did this back pullback, and then the candle popped up on top of the five-day simple move average, which was on December the 26th. You see a green yes. candle that goes yeah. above the five-day. So anything, yes, yes, yes. any candle that goes below the five-day, I don't touch it. I, w I don't go short and I, okay. I don't go long. I wait until the candle goes above the five day. And from there on, I start going long on that. I go long, 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 long until the candle starts to grow down and it goes below the five day. You okay. see, it went down on uh, uh, December, uh, December the 1st. I, yes. The 12th, 24, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the, yeah. But... I didn't even touch it. I shorted it on. Uh, I shorted it on first uh, sixteenth of January, which the candle hit the bottom dot and the dot went up, which was yes. seven dollars. And I yes, shorted yes. it there, and I'm holding it now. If that five day comes and crosses that twenty one day, yes, then then really is gonna go down. They have Got no it. other choice to go down. You see, okay. so daily chart to me is so is so crucial. I mean. Uh, you can see even in any stock, like, let's say, for example, Affirm, A-F-R-M. If you yeah. bring Affirm, you'll see that uh, on, uh, on uh, the, the 1229, 1229, when the candle hits the bottom, uh, the yeah. dot and the dot goes up, from yeah. there the short starts. That's where the short is. It goes down, it goes down. And when you see that five day crosses that 21 day, then the real short starts. Got and it, it's going it. to come and it's going to stop on on 50 day moving average, which is 3796. Then then it's a different story. If it breaks that, then it's going to be another short. If no, then from there on, it's going to roll up. So this is the way I'm doing this for the past 25 years. And oh, it's beautiful. That, it's beautiful. That, those sort parabolic dots, it does miracles to me. Just miracles. Yeah, that's 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 beautiful. Now, are you short of firm holdings? Yes, sir. You are. Yes, sir. So I'll just share with you, just because I did pull up that uh, stock chart while you were reviewing that. That way others could uh, could follow that as well. It is sitting at uh, one level of support, which is the bottom of its daily profile. And that's at 37.78. So just simply another price point for you to watch. It's, well, it's below the five the five day, obviously. So if you can get below, if you can get a close below uh, 40, uh, 40.01. Uh, 4001 is okay. the number. That's the bottom of the 4001. Then, then you're going to certainly get. Then, the my charting tools would say then you're definitely going to get to that 3777-ish uh, area, the 50-day uh, simple moving yeah, average no, out no, there. No. So that 3771 is today's value. Tomorrow, that will right. change. Right. Of course, of course. The, 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 yeah, because that keeps on going up, the candles keep coming down, and the 50-day keeps changing value every day because it keeps going up. So you have to watch that you, that thirty seven seventy nine. It's it's not it's not carved in the stone. That is, sure, sure. is it today's date. Yeah, yeah today's correct. price. Yeah, correct. Absolutely. Well, Garo, it's always great to uh, speak to you. <laughs> Thanks so much for sharing so much with the audience out there, and uh, have a great weekend. And I look forward to speaking to you uh, whenever we speak again next. <laughs> Absolutely. Probably next week if there's okay. any, any life left, I'll call you back. I'd, lo I'd, I'd love to hear from you. That's Garo in Newport Beach, California. Uh, so we got that, still that mixed bag of a market out here, folks. Um, 
I do have some other requests that have come in. Um, let me just start going to those. I don't want to get too far behind. Obviously, I do want to give you an overview of what's going on globally, what to expect or anticipate out there. And I'll go ahead and make sure that we squeeze that in. But in the meantime, let me get to a couple of requests. The first two, Kevin from Alton, he wants to know buy, sell, or hold, buy, sell, or hold. The two instruments he's interested in, in case you want to take a look at it on your screens, is RTX and DVN, Devon Energy out there. So we take a look at RTX. I don't even know what RTX is off the top of my head, but uh, we're going to find out here. It doesn't really matter. It's called RTX Corp. Great. Perfect. So we know about RTX. It's got a TD9 count top out here, Alton, and uh, price has been trading sideways ever since that form. By the way, that formed out here on the trading day of January the 3rd. Now, what price has been able to do here is hold a key level of support, that being the top of its daily profile. So you are asking for support levels. The first area is for 84.99. The second area, 84.22. The third area, 83.46. You see my home screen. Sorry about that. I'll go ahead and uh, convert this over to my white background screens, and I'll review that again when we get back from this break. Steve Rowe. Yeah. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, momentarily, who will be on the right screen. We're taking a look at RTX. This is for Alton. 
And so in the case of RTX, again, on a daily time frame, uh, we can see the top out here, but price is holding support. So its overall signal right now is neutral. In order for this to get something other than a neutral signal, you need to see it close below 83.46. If you got that, Alton, then price would target 81.37, its breakout level. So your question was buy, sell, or hold? I would hold. But take a look at the weekly time frame chart. It's got an A to B equals C to the upside. Was the swing point taken out with volume? Let's find out. The swing point was from November 3rd, 99 million shares there. It was taken out with 33 million and then 29 million. So it wasn't taken out with volume, but that A to B equals C to the upside is still in effect out here. You are at resistance on the weekly time frame. And if price can close above 86.74, it'll go target 89.10. If price were to close above 89.10, this will make its way out to the 104.91 level. So I would go ahead and still uh, hold on to RTX out there. Uh, I know your second request was to take a look at uh, Devon Energy, but we're going to take a look at gold with John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Steve, I'm doing very well, uh, and thanks Excellent. for taking the call. You, you my, uh, my Steve, pleasure I'd like always. to ask you a uh, GDX, please. Okay. Uh, parenthetically, you will see in the Tiger's Den, I just purchased GDX the past 10 minutes. My question to you, sir, is can you share with us your studies on GDX and tell us what, if anything, you're seeing on the weekly, daily charts that are suggesting a bottom is close at hand or what if anything and i uh i do repeat if anything because maybe you don't have anything that says just that but that's the question sir absolutely great okay so great question let's go take a look at the gdx out here so here's what we know about the gdx at this stage here this negated a td9 count bottom that formed on january 11th and it did it two days later that tells us about a strong momentum move to the downside then what took place next john was price got back to a breakout level that was at 27.68 that area should have held. It didn't. We're now three days below that area. That suggests that price would go target the next breakout level at 26.26. That's on the daily time frame. There is also an A to B equal CD to the downside pattern that I believe has formed. We'll come back and take a look at that when I switch over to the black background charts because it'll be more accurate and easier for me to go ahead and, uh, and show you those levels out there. On a weekly time frame, John, if price closed the day, below 27.84, we will have a weekly profile change in trend signal. That will be price closing below the mm -hmm. bottom of its bullish structured profile. If price can hold 27.84 at day's end, well, then at least a key level of support will have held, and that can obviously apply and move over to the daily mm -hmm. time frame. But if price does close below that, that suggests lower price. And on a monthly time frame, we're trading with inside its profile mm -hmm. but below the red oscillator and change mm -hmm. line. So it's really a negative condition or it's a bearish condition. That just has me go back to the weekly, the weekly not looking so good with price trading below the bottom of its profile. Now, that may just be signaling to you and I, as you know, that price is going to go retarget its recent bottom out here. Maybe it's the high of the bottom. That's the October 6th weekly swing point we're looking at anywhere in a range of 2562 to 2710. So to answer your question on a daily, weekly or monthly time frame, do I have a bottom signal? My answer to that question would be no. If I look at a 30-minute time frame chart, though, you just entered a long position, and on a 30-minute time frame chart, this did generate a roads momentum indicator bottom out here, and it did that at 11 a.m. Uh, so uh, you you purchased it just shortly after that. So there are some profile levels here for you to watch and observe. And what I would say here, that was a 30-minute bullish hammer candle. So John, if price were to close below that low, 27.33, that would add to the idea that the GDX hasn't bottomed. Uh, and that it would head lower. Uh, if price were to close above 27.65, then price will have taken out a level of resistance, the top of its profile, and then, you know, short term, it might make sense to continue to uh, hold that. But it's a 30 minute chart where I've got the bottom signal, not on the daily, the weekly or the monthly. But before I would switch over to my black background charts, just to see what that uh, daily uh, A to B equals CD pattern would look like, what questions do you have about these charts? Steve, uh, I appreciate all that. That's just what I asked for. I've got some new price points and calculations to um, 
to pay attention to. So I'm going to stop and sign off now. But before I do, Steve, I just wanted to share with you yeah. and your listeners and basically remind myself um, the the business of buying and owning equities of precious metals miners of course has been a, uh, a winless situation recently and from a fundamental perspective i just share these three or four things with you one we know last year the uh, country of mexico uh, changed rules on silver miners in particular uh, leading to uh, much more onerous conditions for mine operators to, to operate. Yes. That hurt shareholders. Uh, next, we had the country of Panama uh, go in and um, uh, close down uh, First Quantum Minerals, that's a Canadian firm, with a copper mine in Panama. Uh, so uh, their sh- shareholders were hurt and the only reason I mention a copper miner is because uh, the streaming company, which is Franco Nevada, had a large equity investment in that Panamanian mine. Okay. And as a consequence, uh, First Majestic, it's not First Majestic, Franco Nevada got clobbered. Uh, just much more recently, two big uh, gold mining companies, Anglo Gold Ashanti, about a month ago, and uh, Barrick just two or three days ago announced that their mine output, that the ounces, of, excuse me, that the ounces of gold they're getting out of the ground was less than what had been expected. So, what we're dealing with from a fundamental perspective, leave the price of gold aside. Yeah, uh, there's just been relentless bearish news uh yeah. maybe that changes someday or maybe this trend continues i do not know but it's worth considering we're dealing with that environment with those specifics so uh so there you have it and i think or, you or, or maybe help, maybe sir. maybe john maybe there's a supply demand and you know all of a sudden demand's going to outpace the supply <laughs> and you know that that does it or what have you i will say this i did uh, i'm trying to i am pulling up my charts here for the uh, miners and uh, one chart that does stick out for me so since you're long miners i i can i'm looking at my charts and i see uh, gold fields gfi that still has a, a td9 count bottom that is in place and price right now is uh at the support level at the bottom of its uh, profile out there franco nevada is one that you also mentioned that has a td9 count bottom john that uh, formed out here let me get my cursor i'm not showing the chart they're still populating so it's kind of um messing with my screens out there but it looks like here franco nevada so the level to be watching there is really the swing point from december 1st that was a td9 count bottom and we've seen a sideways move ever since hey john always great to speak to you thanks so much for sharing with us that great information have a fabulous weekend and i will look forward to speaking with you again soon that was john in philly steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back we'll take a look at devon energy gct natural gas and mosaic Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Devon Energy, DBN is ticker symbol. This is for Alton. His question is buy, sell, or hold. So, Alton, we go ahead and give you a buy signal uh, today. Today is going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count bottom. It may for confirm a wave number seven bottom. We don't really need two, so we're going to go with the TD9 count bottom out here. That's a, a, that's a very clear read. Now, that pattern could complete on uh, Monday, as you know, out here. Price is pulling back with what seems like lighter volume. We're about 2.4 million shares. Uh, two hours of trading says you do a about um, 7 million shares or so. Yesterday you did 10 million, the day before 11 million. So volume appears to be pulling back uh, with lighter volume out there. We don't like the weekly chart. Uh, weekly chart is trading below profile and it's also and change line, but the daily's giving you a buy signal. Now, when I look at a 30 minute time frame chart out here, we can see a road momentum indicator bottom that formed, and that is got support at the lows. That's at the uh, 40 51 area. And you've got uh, weekly, uh, not weekly, you've got 30 minute profile support sitting at 40 68. So you've got all the signals here to suggest taking a, a long position out there. Um, whether it's today or you wait for additional information on Monday, that's really up to you. The weekly and the monthly don't look great, but the daily's definitely giving you a signal. So I hope that helps you out. And as always, thanks so much for the request. Have a terrific weekend out there. Let's go take a look at ticker symbol GCT out here. This is from, uh, oh God, I didn't write down the name, but uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. I know the person who wrote this is in Lincoln, Nebraska, freezing there you know what off out there but with regard to giga cloud giga cloud is just simply well, let's get over to its stock charts out here that would be helpful giga cloud is consolidating with inside its daily profile and that's after forming a td9 count and rose mint in there and wave number seven top so you got all three in there but still this is just really perfect proof to each of us out here it doesn't matter whether you have one two or three topping signals it's still going to do the same or should do the same which is push price back to support so it's just so key for you and i to be able to i to identify objectively identify support and resistance so that's what we do here uh, none of these uh when i give you a support or resistance level none of these are made up pulling something out of my you-know-what. Instead, we're just looking at letting the tools identify that for us. So here, you've got support at 1831. You're below the center of its profile, likely going to pull back there to uh, the daily time frame. The monthly time frame, TD9 count top. It should take price back to its off-center change line of 1537, but you don't have to worry about that. 
price would have to prove itself to you to first crush 1831, close below it, then close below 1623, and then we could take a look at 1537 or so. Now, the monthly chart, also in TD9 count formation. So you got the perfect formations here for a top, but that's only going to prove itself to you if you get a close below 1831. That's what I see when uh, we take a look at ticker symbol GCT. Um, Dan inside the Tigers then wanted to take a look at natural gas. So let's go take a look at natural gas. It is pulling back to its TD9 count breakout level. We'll see that momentarily. And I'm referring to the daily time frame. So in the case of natural gas, um, it uh, forms a high, starts pulling back. And right now today, it looks like it's going to close below the bottom of its bullish structured daily profile. That then opens up the door for a move to 231. Now, in the case of... Uh, um, and that may be, that may be the buy area out here. When I take a look at a weekly time frame chart, you're back inside this profile below a red oscillator and change line. That's suggesting a further move lower. So, Dan, if you're looking to take a long position inside of natural gas, I would say watch for that 231-ish area. Identify some type of intraday bottoming pattern uh, that's out there, and uh, that's what I would uh, do. So I hope that that helps you out with regard to that. Uh, we had a request from Jane, and her question was, what happens if the markets continue to go higher with regard to the UVXY? That's a good question out there, Jane. Here's what I would suggest that you do. The UVXY is made up of... Uh, the futures contract, different future contracts, volatility future contract. Right now, as we speak, you've got um, you've got 26,000 shares of the February future contract, 2,900 shares of the March contract out there. So, um, it, you know, what will happen with UVXY? It's I think UVXY might be a double or a triple out there. Uh, it resets each day if that is, in fact, the case. I don't recall if it's a direction share or not. But still, what you're really paying attention to are the futures contracts out there. And uh, and UVX is, UVXY is really traded off of that. So I hope that that answered your question. Uh, Duncan Steve wanted to take a look at Mosaic. That's the fertilizer uh, company. Out. Oh, did I, oh, we are. Yeah, I took care of natural gas. Good. Let me just close out those charts. Free up a resource. We might have a caller. We do have a caller. It is Michael in Niagara Falls. Michael, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Uh, okay. Um, Good. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. Um, Microsoft, Mr. Softy, they um, have earnings coming out uh, Tuesday uh, at the close. I guess it's around 4.30. Okay. And, um, 4.30 p.m. And uh, do you subscribe to that theory that um, stocks like to um, – they like to act as magnets towards round numbers, like centurion numbers. Like we're trading right now, three ninety-five thirty-five, right? And that four hundred number looks like I find it hard to believe it, it won't get there. So, what are the good terms? question. Good question. That question is better for Basil Chapman. I know that Basil has done some studies on that, where I have not. Yeah. I've yeah. I've spent I've spent zero time taking a look at that as whether it's a buy signal or sell signal. So I really can't answer that because I've I've spent zero time there. But you know, do we see Microsoft headed higher? If I tried to answer that question, and you've got earnings coming out on Tuesday, so when I take a look at its stock charts, we get different pieces of information. For example, the daily time frame, Michael, is going to confirm a TD9 count top today. Complete that on Monday. That would then suggest that earnings come out on Tuesday, that we could see that you've got a top in place on the daily time frame. We could see Microsoft pull back. Where would Microsoft pull back to? Well, the first place that we'd be targeting would be 391.28. And 391.28, Michael, is the top of a daily profile that formed yesterday. So that would become the first level of support. The second level would be its oscillator and change line. That's around 388. That's 388 right now. And then below that would be the other profile levels, 380.302. 374.76. That's the daily message. The weekly message is I want higher price. Uh, it's up above all resistance levels. There's no topping signal. Yes, it's got a roads momentum indicator pattern that's triggered, but that needs a bearish reversal candle. And the monthly chart is all out bullish altogether. There is no topping pattern whatsoever on the monthly time frame 
for Microsoft as we speak right now. So I would say that, you know, you've got your, uh, I'd call back and talk to Basil on Monday for sure about the round numbers because he's uh -huh. the one that could give you clear and concise information, whereas I can't. But I do see a short-term top forming in Microsoft, and it looks like it's lining right up with the earnings time frame out there. And that's just a matter okay. of watching it pulls back and what it does at those support levels. Does that help you? Yeah, well, you know, Microsoft is a component of the Dow. Dow sure. Jones, correct? Sure. And the S&P. Yes. And the Qs and the NDX, right? So, I yes. mean, we're so close to 48.18 on, on the SPX, right? I mean, we've been hovering around there today, or, you know, basically about 4,800. Like, I find it hard to believe that we're not going to test um, the all-time high for, for the S&P 500. I would so, agree with without, you. I would agree and, with and, you. And, I, I agree In order for it to get there, in order for it to get there, yeah. my, Mr. Softy has to, has, to ride, has to ride the wave up. Well, I, th I, think, I think that it will. But, uh, well, Michael, we're, we're out of time here. Great to speak to you as well. And uh, we'll look forward to our next conversation. I call Basil on Monday with regard to those round number highs. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. .com. Welcome 
Welcome back up, folks. Hey, there are a number of requests that came in. I'm not going to get a chance to get to them, but I will absolutely on Monday. That's BX, NVIDIA, NTNX, and LAC. So we'll definitely do that. Let me just give you an overview of what's going on inside the markets right now. The, the spies themselves have made a new all-time high today. 479.28 is there. Uh, the Qs are at a new all-time high. They're actually taking out their swing point with what looks like volume. Now, its swing point was December the 28th out there. So Christmas season, light trading, there was 20 27 million shares there. We're already at 25 million shares. So it looks to me like uh, the Qs are taking out a prior swing point with volume out here. The diamonds, uh, not a new all time high. And we do have an A to B equal CD to the downside pattern inside the IWM. We take a look at that NDX 100 a little further. Here we've got, I've got my horizontal trading ranges and uh, rising price channels and so forth. And there's actually an A to B, a larger A to B equal CD to the upside pattern. We're not seeing those charts. Sorry about that. Hold on a minute here. Stevie, 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 how do you do that? Real quickly, I'm going to go step it back real quick. Here's the uh, four index ETFs. You can see the volume, 25.9 million so far on the NDX, taking out uh, December 28th of 27 million. Now, we try to get a feel for where's price headed to. Well, it turns out in the NDX 100, now we're looking not to the ETF, but the actual index. There's an A to B equals CD pattern, takes up to 19,549. Uh, that's the same uh, pattern that I've got inside the uh, uh, weekly time frame. The next upside resistance level, Level for the NDX 100 is at 17.977 on a weekly basis. That's a horizontal trading range boundary line. And on the monthly time frame, it's up at 17.678. So those are the likely upside price targets for it. If we take a look at the Dow, the Dow is at new all-time highs, price in euros, yen, Australian dollars, Swedish corona out there. This is a global rally, folks. We don't get global rallies that often. And, you know, I'm spending my time going back to other situations like this and trying to look at the patterns to understand how these markets trade during this. You're at new all-time highs with regard to the S&P, if I mentioned that, euros, yen, a great British pounds out there. Up, oh, you did it in Swedish Krona this morning as well, and Australian dollars. This goes back to Mike's question. We're going to get tops, but at this stage here, the pullbacks are going to be pretty mild. Have a fabulous weekend, folks, and uh, we'll look. be safe out there. We'll see you on magnificent, marvelous Monday. Take care.